Angela Georgiou, um, I wondered why you have chosen to promote opera in the cinema when it could potentially take audiences away from the opera houses where you perform. I think this is the absolutely normal step for opera also. I always said from the very beginning that I believe in cameras and microphone and I believe in um, everything recorded because the, this is the only way to leave a testimony for an interpreter. So I, I'm used to have cameras from when I was 18 in Romania and uh, I always enjoyed open airs, I always enjoyed concerts or performances from the opera house when they are on the big screen or on television. So I, this is um, one of uh, other performances I did before, but for me it's absolutely, but absolutely uh, my, my very best moment in my career because Covent Garden, because they are my home, this is my home from 20 years. As I said, the most sensual and the most powerful and the most uh, um, sexy, if you want, uh, instrument in the world is the human voice. And the, you, we are uh, uh, using really our uh, voice and musicality and things, but with no microphones. You see, uh, people must know that in opera house we are not using microphones. So it's a, it's a absolutely acoustic sound from the choir, from the singers and from the orchestra. This is absolutely the most important. So uh, ma making uh, you sing the real um, non, uh, non playback uh, or overdone uh, sound with microphone. I always have an, an um, sorry if I, I, I repeat, I have an example. Uh, imagine in a stadium uh, a concert with um, Rolling Stones, you know, they have big sound, but you know why? Because they are plugged. If you, <laughs> if you do this, no sound. In opera, we don't need that. So uh, we need cameras and sound only for, for the big public to go outside from the house. So this is the most, uh, most important for, for me to and make you to discover. And you feel there are going to be new audiences as opposed to the same audiences then leaving the opera houses? Um, I think both. Uh, it, because this is uh, like a, a new step for a new public. It's a new, it's a new step to, um, to have all over the world people looking to the opera singers. So opera singers, we are really not um, unnormal people. We are like everybody. Uh, we, we want to be admired. So as I really want to, to make you to understand exactly what I'm doing after years and years of study and work. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so the broad, broaden the question a bit. How do you see the future of opera uh, in the 21st century and beyond? I mean, is it an art form that's thriving or is it an art form that's dying? Uh, starting with me, living, long live of opera. <laughs> I think uh, I am uh, one of the good examples that we are still here. You are making me an interview. Hundreds, thousands of people, they are interested about our work. And, you know, we are speaking about a music that it's not composed yesterday. In fact, to be sure, classic music is forever. Operatic profession, it is a challenge all the time. So, um, it's like having a new exam. Each performance for me, it, it is a new exam. Do you 
have a special repertoire, a composer that you are uh, trying to do next that you've never done? I mean, what are you going to do that you've never done? So if you are curious about me, go to the internet, dears, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, and you find out exactly who is Angela. Angela Georgiou, being an opera singer, start from 18. From that period till today, I'm still here. You like to say that you're very much like Tosca. You feel like the story of Tosca is, in some ways, your story. Uh, Tosca no, lived. No, no, it's not. No, uh, it's not the story. It's the fact that she's an opera singer, Tosca. That's why. <laughs> no, and we don't have the same destiny. <laughs> Thankfully not. But I mean, she lives for her art. Um, do you as well? And what else do you live for? What are your other um, hobbies? Uh, things that make you happy? Painting, pottery, sculpture. What is it? Art generally. I like I like life. I like love. I'm in love with love. I'm in love with music and art. I'm in love with life. And I really enjoying all this so I'm a real woman who is enjoying everything. It's nice and tasteful and also with a lot of um, spirit. I'm, I believe that you are going to be performing with Roberto Alagna. Um, can you sp speak a bit more about that? Uh, I made with uh, Roberto uh, uh, my debut here in Covent Garden in '92, and next year it will be um, our anniversary of 20 years in the same performance. So I'm glad to uh, to sing with with Roberto again, uh, also here in the Opera House.